Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, I am Key and this is Key's Playing Life. So, I have to flat iron my hair tomorrow to get it braided. And I always have questions of people asking me, how do you prepare your hair for your protective styles? Well, for my braids, I normally wash my hair, deep condition, and then I blow it out like this. So, I decided that a lot of people wanna know how, since they want to know how I blow out my hair, I say, you know what? I'm doing it right now. Let me cut on the camera. Let me show you guys what exactly that I do. So this side has already been blown out. It just needs to be kind of, uh, it just probably needs to be like gone over a little bit just to make sure everything is dry. So that is what I'm going to do. But first I'm going to show you what I use. I use this red Pro 3500 Turbo Titanium. Um, it comes with two different, uh, two combs, one diffuser. Um, I always use, well, I'm not gonna take it out, but I can take the hair out for that. That's what I can do. I always use this one because of the small combs inside of it. It helps really, really get the hair straight. Now, a lot of people do low heat or uh, low heat manipulation. I like to get it over and done with and I put it on high heat now before you come in my comment section telling me that's not good for my hair I have been doing it for a year my hair always reverts back to curly I have thick hair my hair is not fine by any means this is a lot of hair and it's super thick although it don't look like it on that side this hair is super thick so I need heat and I like to get it over and done with so low manipulation or low low heat don't do it for my hair so i have it on high heat and i have it on the hottest setting one strand of hair normally takes three minutes to dry because it's on a high heat i don't have all that time and it works for my hair now whatever you choose a setting on your blow dryer that works for you i'm just telling you how i blow out my hair because y'all been asking so i'm telling y'all but don't come in my comment section trying to tell me how to blow out my hair because I've been doing this for a year and my hair is just fine. And even if it wasn't fine, it's just hell to me. It ain't that serious. Like, I wear, majority of the time, I wear wigs anyway. I've just started these braids anyway. And I've been begging my husband to cut my hair. You probably, you ask your husband to cut your hair? Yeah, because that's my significant other. And... He and me and these kids is the reason that I went natural. So when I make decisions to do something drastic, I talk to him first because sometimes I be tripping and he can talk me off the ledge. So I'm going to go through this hair on this side one more time and then I'm going to twist it up and finish this side. So let's get started. You won't hear me talking no more in this video. <laughs> I'm twisting it up to keep it straight and so I'll know which side is already dry and I won't dry it with this hair and it just keeps the hair because this this thing can get hot and you can also sweat so it keeps my hair from reverting back so yeah and I just take a little duck clip and pin it until I'm done because once I'm done I'm gonna part it all in the middle put this in a ponytail on each side and braid it down so when i go to my beautician in the morning she could just take the two ponytails out and do her magic because i'm actually getting some pop smoke braids so taking this duck clip out and over here i only have four ponytails to do so i'm gonna start with the back because i figure if i start with the back that'll be quicker see this is what's getting on my nerves Okay, let's do it like that. That way I can keep the hair out of my face. And for me, I have to, my hair is twisted from me detangling it. I cannot just detangle my hair and then wash it. I have to shampoo my hair, detangle, when, while I'm detangling, twist it up, rinse the conditioner out once I'm ready to rinse it out, but I keep it in these plaques till it's time to blow it out. Even when I'm not blowing out my hair, I cannot rinse condition out of my hair unless my hair is twisted because it will tangle all over again. 
Also, I use a wide tooth comb. I use this type of comb. I cannot use a small teeth comb. Not for this hair. And I, as you can see, I start from the ends of my hair and work my way up. And be careful. If you feel a snag, take that snag and try to comb it out the best you can. Don't pull on it too much if you can help it. Like I'm kind of feeling my way through the hair, feeling for the snags. And just, but my hair's had a trim, so there's not many snags. It's just, it's also been embraced for a month and it's only getting a two days to breathe. Cause I don't like to, my hair tangles and wraps itself around each other. So I cannot leave my hair out for long periods of time because it makes, it makes it to where when I do wash and detangle it, it's a process from hell. And I just don't be wanting to deal with it. So I don't take my hair down sometimes Depend, it depends. If I just want to rock my natural hair, then I'm okay with knowing that I'm going to have a longer process. But if I don't have no intention of taking two, three hours to do wash and detangle and all that, then I won't take my hair down till the day before it's time to get it done. So. So I am officially dry. I feel like my ears are still kind of wet. So I'm a All right, so we're gonna take this side down. <sighs> and if you're wondering how I get my hair to have this shine that it has i actually use um shea moisture restoration hair mask now if you got a problem with shea moisture that's your personal problem that ain't got nothing to do with me it works for my hair don't tell me that they don't like like my my color because y'all buy from stores that don't like your color and if, <laughs> i can name a few brands that don't like your color that i see a few of you rocking so don't do that I buy what I want to buy with my coin. You buy what you want to buy with your coin. But what I do is I use Shea Moisture uh, Restor Restoration Hair Mask. It's the uh, Raw Shea Butter Moisture. It's the gold one. Not the pink one, not the green one, not the blue one, not the red one. It's the gold packaging one. And I take a little castor oil. Or you can use olive oil. You can use sunflower oil, almond oil. I put a little oil in there. Coconut oil, whatever. I put a little oil in there. I mix it up with that and I slather it on my hair. And I deep condition my hair and my hair is shiny. So, this is my hair blown out. Hopefully you can see it. But yeah, that is my hair blown out. So now that it is blown out, I'm going to take it. And I'm not really good at parting my hair unless I'm looking in a mirror. And it, that part don't even have to be perfect this time because I'm just doing it to get by. Okay, I need a 
on this hair holder. Give me one second, y'all. What I have. I know I got one right here. I need to find some more. Uh, it's hard to deal with my hair when it's out like this. Because, child, let me tell you, this hair will tangle in a minute. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I got what I need before I finish this. No, give me one second. I need to go in my bathroom and get some um, hair ties. One second. Okay, guys, I found it. Let me look in this mirror. And why did I take my comb and put it up? I can use this. Oh, that's wet and it got my hair wet. Hold on. Take this. Okay. Yeah, do y'all know how hard it is to do my hair with these nails on? But I hate short nails. And y'all, she doing me some pop smoke braids tomorrow. So my braids gonna have to be two times longer than my hair. Oh. Okay. That should I kinda wanna braid it all the way down though. I don't I hate when people don't braid their hair all the way down. But these nails getting on my nerves. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, start it up here. Work it there. Down. So that way them ends won't shrivel up. That gets on my nerves too. And I'm going to tie my hair. Once I do these, y'all will see. I'm going to tie my hair up at the top. But I'm a um... I'm going to put a bunnit on because the rest of my hair is hanging out. Okay. Why did I do that? Didn't I just say this thing wet? It's not really wet, but it's wet enough. That should be good enough. Let me tighten it up. Not too tight. I mean, you're trying to pull my hair just yet. It's already going to be pulled tomorrow. All right. Take this comb up here. Take this hair.
And I probably could use my own doggone hair to braid. But I don't be wanting to. And I feel like this was helps my hair grow. When I'm not in my hair, not touching my hair, not messing with my hair. My, my hair routine is so simple. All I use, I use anybody's shampoo because I just need a clarifying shampoo to get all the gook out of my hair. I want it to be clean. I do not co-wash because that do not clean my hair. And then I condition it. I do a deep condition. I'm talking about an hour, hour and a half deep condition. And then I blow my hair out. And then I don't bother with my hair for a month. Sometimes, depending on what I get, if she's just braiding my hair down into foundation braids for weeks, I don't get my hair. I get my hair braided every two months. And you probably like, ooh, that's nasty. You should wash your hair. No. No, it should not. And the proof is in the pudding because my hair grow. My mom used to say when your hair dirty, it grow. I don't know if that's true, but <laughs> if, if my hair is in foundation braids, it literally... I do not wash my hair for two months. And if it's in like braids that she's doing like tomorrow, I won't wash my hair for a month. So, I don't know. It could rain true. And then some people, some I, I believe some stylists just have growing hands. They, they got something within their hands that make your hair grow. So, yeah. This is it. So, now I'm going to tie it down. Put a little tie or whatever. Um, and I'm not gonna put my bunny on just yet. I'm gonna just put my tie on this so it can keep it straight and keep my edges in. My edges are thinning right there, but I don't really care about that. My edges are always thin right there, <sighs> so whatever. But it ain't thinning bad. I could put some wild growth oil on that, you know. Have my edges looking back straight, so I ain't tripping about no edges. I don't know. That stuff just don't be. It don't be um as important to me as it be for everybody else. Yeah, I'm not good at tying stuff. So, y'all yeah, gonna have to work with me and watch my struggle. Okay, because that's a struggle. I took that in right there. But I'm not good at tying stuff down. But this shall do, honey. Oh, you know. 39 and look like they in their 20s. She is. Okay, but you probably like, he don't look like in your 20s. Okay, well, I feel. Okay, so yeah, that is it, guys. Now I'm gonna go wash my face because nothing like a good exfoliation. And plus, I feel like my period's coming, so I need a good exfoliation because I'm getting little pimples here and here. And then I like to exfoliate this thing right here for my sarcoid. So yeah. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, Y'all want to know the secret to me growing my hair? There really is no secret. Um, A lot of times, this is what people don't want. This is what people don't tell y'all. They have y'all going out here buying these products, buying these different stuff, saying it's going to grow your hair. It's going to do this to your hair. And that's not necessarily true. Sometimes it's genetics. And I'm not bragging. I'm just fa I'm stating facts. You can ask any scientist or any real hair person it's genetics it's how you maintain your hair how you take care of your hair for me my mom has really she has fine curly curly hair but i have um really thick curly hair and my sister has really thick curly hair and we do not be in our hair like that we stay out of our hair now what's crazy is my daughter she used to have hair down her back but she started doing her own hair and her hair ain't been right since so she thinking about doing a big chop if she just let me put these hands up in her head again i can grow them but she don't want me to so we've been keeping her in braids and it's slowly coming back but i don't do anything i have tons of hair products sitting in my my bathroom I don't I don't use them 
my children use them. The only time you'll see me use those hair products is if I'm doing some two strand twists and that's because I want to make sure my hair is really, really moisturized during the process of twisting my hair because I'm not gonna mess with my hair for a whole month. I'm not gonna put nothing in it, no oils, no nothing. I'm not doing anything to my hair for a month. So I wanna make sure it's completely moisturized. And my hair will stay in two strand twist for a month and it will come out so juicy and so moisturized. And I use simple products. I don't spend a lot of money. I use Cancel for Naturals. I use Shea Moisture. A lot of people say it doesn't work on their hair. Always remember, it's about how you apply products too. I have a system on how I apply my products. So, if you want to see more hair videos, you want to, you have questions about hair, maybe put them in the comment section and I can do a video on it and show you guys. I am not good at styling hair, hence why I pay people to style my hair. I can do a couple of flat twist styles. I can do uh, a couple of, you know, little, little, little thigma jigs, but I'm not that good at styling hair. That's never been my forte. I've always been able to get somebody else to do it. So, I'm gonna get out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to think smart and spend smarter. Bye.